On the upside, though, I did learn something from the whole experience. Kind of what I'm looking for and what I'm not looking for. Because some people are just creepy. Like, let me read to you what some people have said. Like, I'm just gonna only read to you, like, the creepers. Like, not... Not anyone... I'm not gonna say their names. Well, I don't even know their names to begin with. But, yeah. If you don't want people to hear about this, then you shouldn't have said something so stupid. So that's my... What is it? Warning, waiver, whatever you want to call it. So this one man messaged me and he's like, Serious question, you can only pick one. Don't cheat. M&M, Skittles, or strawberries? And I thought it was harmless. So I just said, strawberries. And then he's just like... And then I was like, why? And then he's like, actually those represent certain popularity popular traits in chicks. What an odd but interesting choice. I'm gonna have to you do another test just to double check. And then this is where it really got disturbing. And it's like you enter an amusement park. No, close your eyes and imagine. One, you get on you go on the roller coaster line, how long do you wait to get on? Two, you're on the ride, going all around, what does it feel like? Three, your car just plunges into a splash pool at the end, what do you show? I said I don't do roller coasters. Uh, then he's like, okay, let's try another question then. Imagine a strawberry field. In the field there's a fence. How high is this fence? Very high, not too high and easy to jump over. Two, you pick strawberries out of the, this field. How many did you pick? What do you think of the farmer who you stole the strawberries from? I was just like, what the fuck? And then this guy just started to, like, stalk me and talking to me, like, yo, do you like to play games? Do you like to play games? And then this guy's, like, 30-something years old. It's like, what's wrong with you? Like, I, I made it very clear that I'm looking for someone 18 to 24. You have passed that the maximum age by six years, so I don't even know why you're talking to me. And then, yeah. And then, there's this one guy who's like really clingy. Like every time I'm on, he's on. And he's like messaging me all the time. And we're not even really compatible. Because, like I've tried talking to him and all we do is argue because we have opposing views. <sighs> but I guess he likes that. I, on the other hand, don't. And then there's another guy. And he's a year younger than me, but he feels too young. Like, we do have some stuff in common, and, like, when he talks about school, it seems like he knows what he wants. But at the same time, he's still in that partying phase, and I'm not, I'm not looking to, like, be a mom or to, like, babysit. That's what it feels like. Like, I feel so old, because he's always talking about, like, oh, I like to do this, or I went to this club, or this whatever and I'm not really like that so I don't know he's a nice guy I don't know where that's gonna go and yeah but there seems to be some hope because there's one person who's older than I am and seems we seem to be compatible and the good thing about this is he's more straightforward so yeah I don't like this. I don't, want, I don't like the idea of dating. Like, why can't I just be married? I just want stability. I don't like the stress. Stress of, like, little juvenile things. Like, oh, does he like me? Does he not like me? I'd rather just know. And you can't even be straight up and ask, like, are you into me? Like, because apparently that's going to scare them off. And apparently I'm really bad when it comes to dating. But what do you expect when your parents have been telling you for the longest time, no boys, no boys, no boys, and then they try to throw you out there into the world? Like, I, I, I feel the reason why I'm so socially awkward is because of my parents. Like, 
Like one, my dad didn't like me to do anything social. Everything was just school, school, school. Even extracurricular, he didn't want me to do, which made me mad, because I feel like I missed out on a lot. And there's a lot of things I felt like I had talent and potential in, but he just didn't care. And then my mom is just an aggressive personality, so it's hard to get anything through. And then if you even so much as say anything to her, and then she automatically takes offense and is just like, oh, you're so rude and un ungrateful. Like, this is the kind of person who, like, yells and swears at you and does all kinds of, like, things that are considered abusive by any other standards. Like, so why is it that because you're my mom, I'm supposed to tolerate it? To me, that doesn't make sense. Like, don't always say you have to give respect to get respect, but if you don't even have respect for your children, I'm not saying don't be an authority figure, but even, like, basic respect. Like, because, like, I, I get really anxious easily, like, and it's painful. And also, I, like, get sleep paralysis. And then my mom's not even shy to come into the room earlier in the morning and just start yelling and screaming for no apparent reason and then she sees that I'm in pain or that I'm freaking out and she doesn't care, she completely ignores it but then if you actually like have something to say to her in the morning, something important and you're actually polite about how you approach her, she's just all rude like, oh, you're so insensitive to other people's feelings, do you ever think of others? It's like, I don't know that's one of my pet peeves. I hate hypocrites. And now you know why I want to move out.